Hello, my friends. Welcome to the What's Up and Makeup chat. I'm so excited to be here again with you this morning to talk with you about the glorious world of makeup that we all love so much. I've got my Elmo coffee mug. Mm. And uh, yeah, and I've got my products here to chat with you guys about things. Uh, it looks like we don't have anybody viewing quite yet in the live version. So I'm just going to kind of ramble for a minute while I get the chat up so that I can see what people are saying. Now, in order to comment, uh, if you are here live, you are going to just leave a comment like you normally do. It looks like that's the way this is working this morning. One day we had an actual chat, um, but... I don't know what happens to that. I don't know how that worked. So let me hold on a second. I'm going to hear myself for a second. Okay. Well, good. I got, I caught that. And let's see. Okay. There's no comments let yet. So it won't let me, it won't let me do it. Okay. Ah, oh. so anyway, I'm very excited about, I think the most exciting thing for me that I saw this morning uh, on the, on the, the news was the new Mac collection, the wash and dry collection. I don't know why that packaging just calls to me, just absolutely calls to me. It's so pretty. I know it's just plastic with a very fancy print on it, but for some reason it's like, buy me, especially the highlighter that was like the wave from like the coral to the neutral, that whole wave thing. I thought that was really cool. Um, what else? That Tony Moly uh, spray, I thought that was really neat the um for oil control i'm really curious to see whether that's going to help people that do have that oil control problem and plus that packaging that little bunny packaging was so stinking cute uh what else was really cute uh let's see i'm looking at the different things that i i'm looking at my script to see if there's anything else that like really stood out to me the dior show mascara i'm curious to know whether they're going to keep the their old formula at all because it is just called Dior Show. So I'm curious to know whether they're going to keep their old formula or if they're just going, they've totally reformulated it to have the fibers in it and then they're leaving it like that. Like I'm curious about that. Let me hit refresh and see if I can um, get some comments because once you guys start commenting, then I can start. Actually, you know what? I'm going to go someplace else. Oh, it is the it is the chat on the side. Yay. Okay, cool. Yay. The chat on the side is working. Cool. Okay. So Mary is my first comment that I see. I don't think you got my question last week. What's your favorite subscription? BoxyCharm. BoxyCharm, BoxyCharm, BoxyCharm. Um, I wasn't the biggest fan of the two that just went up on the um, on the channel when I had those two, but the April one was pretty good. I'm pretty happy about the April one. The only thing is the April one came with uh, the biggest thing, and it was something that I already had, so I'm going to have to pass that along. But, you know, it's okay. Most people don't have it, so I can't, like, take it from that point of view. It was a really good box in, in April, so that's going to be coming up soon. I have a backlog of videos that I've already filmed, so i got to get through those. She says Choi is Choi. It's not called Choi. I forget how to pronounce it now. Schwa. Schwa is how it's pronounced. It's your new favorite. Yay. I'm glad you liked that subscription. Made her by the full, si full size Kevin Aquan bl rose, Blood Rose Lipstick and Lip Gloss. Um, Choi was nice enough. They actually, Choi. Keep him Choi. Schwa actually sent it to me. I was so excited. Like, I seriously almost cried. I was so happy. I was like, are you serious? Like, just as like a thank you for making the video. It wasn't part of the deal. I didn't know they were going to send me anything. And I was like, oh, oh, I love you. I love this lip gloss. I love it. I'm totally with you. Um, love the colors, uh, though I fail putting lipsticks on. Uh, you know, I do too. And especially with darker colors, because I used to wear so many neutrals. I didn't realize like, because, you know, you take a neutral, you know, and you just kind of, you know, you roll it up and you pop it on and it doesn't matter if you go outside the light a tiny bit, you know, nobody's going to notice, but man, when you put on a red and you mess up, it's like, get about it. Like everybody knows, you know, <laughs> Love you too, Mary. All right. Uh, good morning to you too. Poetry Chick. Hi, good to see you again. So awesome to see you again. You've been here a couple weeks. Hi, Grady. Back to the chat window. I don't know why. I don't I don't know why it's changing. I, I don't know. Uh, good morning from Samantha Richmond. So glad I didn't miss the chat this week. Me too. Mary says, sorry, I forgot to ask. Did anyone, um, anyone, wait, I forgot to ask, did anyone do the live chat the two Sundays you weren't able to make? Yes, my friend Lily uh, over at Lily Spurgeon did the chat for me for two weeks. Uh, she is awesome and amazing. If you haven't checked out her channels, she just put up like a really, really good video. Like her editing skills are like on point. Like, oh my goodness. It was like the first video that she put up. She's it's a pretty new channel, but girlfriend's going places, I'm telling you. So Lily Spurgeon, S-P-U-R-G-E-O-N. 
is how you pronounce how you spell her last name. But yeah, she did it for me for two weeks. She's so knowledgeable about makeup, just knows so much. Um, Christine says good morning. Um, Steph Zilla says good morning. Sherry says good morning. I'm so glad you're here, Sherry. Yay. Um, let's see. I just read, hey, Razzle Dazzle, uh, H Razzle Dazzle, what was your real name? I remember you, I just read it like a second ago because you commented on what's up in makeup and now I can't, it's just totally went out of my head. Uh, Sarah says, good morning. Samantha says, I will be getting my first ever BoxyCharm this month. Has anyone gotten the May box yet? I don't think so. I, usually the May box, their boxes typically come after the 15th. Like they're, they, they come later. They're one of the later boxes. So we, we, we won't get it until at the very earliest, like after the 10th. Uh, Morscada, good morning. Bradley says, hey, Jen. Hey, Bradley. Grady says, I haven't gotten the Maybucks, but I love Box of Trump so much. Yes. Susan W. Hello, Susan, our QVC reporter. Thank you for joining us, Susan. Uh, I know. We, um, H. Razzle Dazzle says we have an actual chat page. I know. I'm excited about that. Meg says, hey. Hey, Meg. Uh, Sherry says, I wanted the one with the eyeshadow palette. Was that April? Yes, that was April. Uh, Meg says, hey, again. Hey, Meg again. Uh, Beauty Hall 411, good morning. Just watch your What's Up and Makeup. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, Christine says, yes, that was April. Grady says, that was April. Uh, Living Like Julie, good morning. Samantha says, I'm very excited to start the BoxyTram subscription. I've also thought about New Beauty Test Tube getting mixed reviews. Don't do it. Don't do it. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm, don't do it. Um, they have been messing with my credit card lately as far as overcharging me and they're not responding to me. They're making me mad. And the tubes are not great um, at all. They used to be really good. About a year ago was the last time we got a really good one. So don't do it. I would say look at look at videos for Pop Sugar Must Have instead. Uh, that one's in the same uh, same kind of range for price. I would say look at that. I would say look at Wannable. You don't get a lot of products, but you get higher end products and full size products. I would say, look at those before new beauty test tube. Uh, let's see. Sherry says I need to stop birch box and try boxy charm. Yeah. I mean, and you can always like, especially if you don't have, you know, spend all your birch box points. If you have them, you know, cancel birch box, do boxy charm for a month or two, and then go back to birch box. It's one of those things where, you know, you can flip back and forth. There's no shame in that. Steph says the wash and dry packaging reminds me of the Proenza Schuler ones. I don't know that one. I don't know that one. Oh, I wish I did. I'll have to look that up. Uh, Samantha says I also get Ipsy, but I'm considering canceling. Yeah, Ipsy's kind of it's kind of hit or miss. Um, they have a lot of kind of off brands with some off quality sometimes in Ipsy. Christine doesn't enjoy Ipsy as much either. Grady says she liked. There, you guys just having conversation about um, boxes, so I'm just gonna kind of skim my eyes. Boxy charms are always worth the money. I think so too. Even when I don't really like the box, I feel like it's worth the money. I agree with you, Grady. I'm um, just reading them because they're just kind of responding back and forth. Good morning to Candy. Christine says, uh, for Boxy Charm now, you'll get one Ofra item every month is in your box. I know, but I like Ofra. I do. I always call them Ofra, but it, I think it's Ofra. Um, Nicole says, good morning. You made it, Nicole. Yay. Nicole is our special events and deals reporter. Hi. Good to see you, Nicole. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I didn't get the striped highlighter from Ofra, Samantha, in my um, in my BoxyCharm. I got the really big, like, uh, shimmery pink glitter. It's not even a highlighter to me. It's like straight glitter, and it's huge, and it's Mm. Sherry says, do you have favorite skincare? I'm looking for something new. I'm always trying new stuff, girlfriend. Always trying new stuff. Um, right now, see, I had my skincare stuff here from last week, and then I put it away <laughs> to use it. And now I feel like I have to go back and get it. Um, oh, what's it called? All right. I got to go back and get it. I got to go get it. So I'm going to go get all my skincare stuff that I have that I'm using right now. And I'll be right back. So give me like 30 seconds. I just have to run to the bathroom. Okay. Hold on. Right back.
I went and got everything again so I can show you. There's a couple things I didn't show you last week, but I'm going to show you today that we're in the shower. I'm just going to show you what I'm using right now for skincare. So for eye makeup remover, I got this in a Beauty Box 5. This is the Marcel Gentle Makeup Remover for Sensitive Eyes. It can feel a little bit oily. I had somebody comment last week that it's a little bit oily. It can feel a little bit oily, but I just wash it off and then I'm fine. Or I'll use the cleanser afterward and it totally gets rid of any oiliness on my, on my skin. But this works really, really well. I love this. Again, that's by Marcel. And then for cleansers, this one I was in love with. This is the Liz Earl Cleanse and Polish Hot Cloth Cleanser. Um, if you don't use the cloth, it doesn't work as well. My claws get dirty really fast. So I'm not digging on this as much as I once was. This is my new favorite right now, uh, along with the Sookie Exfoliating Cleanser. But I'm not, I haven't been using that lately because I've been using a different exfoliator. I'll show you in a minute. But this is the Key West Aloe Gentle Aloe Facial Cleanser. This stuff is amazing. Takes my eye makeup off and everything and it smells like lemons it's fabulous uh and then this is the exfoliator i've been using this is the laura mercier flawless face polish and it comes out this beautiful little peach shade and it's just it just makes me feel fancy for some reason uh, and i really like this it's got kind of a medium grit to it medium to fine grit to it i really like that a lot and then for toner, I've been using the Andy Lee toner. I don't know if there's anything magical about this, but it works. It's nice. And then oh, I'm dropping things. And then we have for tonic. Uh, this is well, I don't know if it's, it's not a tonic. It's a um, what is it, a serum. Ooh. Okay, it's a serum. This is a Provise Skin Type 1 to 6. I got this in a boxy charm, and it makes my face feel kind of sticky, but I'm kind of fighting my way through it. I think I'm going to keep using it. I don't know. It just makes my face feel sticky, so I'm not a big fan of that one. For moisturizer right now, I'm using the Pure, Lease, Pure Moist Hydro Balance Moisturizer for normal to dry skin. I just have to use this in moderation because if I use it full force, it is way, way too moisturizing for me. I would imagine this would be good for normal to dry skin. I have normal to oily skin, so, well, normal, really. But if I ever have a problem, it's oily, it's not dry, so... Um, but it's okay. It's it's nice. And then for eye cream, I really like this a lot. This is the Origins Gin, Gin Zing, G-I-N-Z-I-N-G eye cream. Uh, is it is it magical? Does it do anything magical? I don't think so, but I like it. It's an eye cream. It's It's fine. So that's what I'm currently using and what I'm liking and not liking out of what I'm using. Uh, let's see. So that hopefully that answered your question. Uh, let me go back up and see if I can find where I left off. Okay, there's Candy saying good morning. Flory made it! You woke up, Flory! I'm excited Flory's here! Yay! How did I miss you? I miss that you are here. Yay, Flory! Uh, let's see. Go the Gold Digger says good morning, good morning. Yeah, her name is Nicole. I know, but I was not thrilled. Okay, she's just responding. Um, Nicole wanted to know if the video stalled out for anyone or if it was just her. Um, there is one point where it blanks out in sound. I'm, I can't, I cannot tell y'all stuff. It blanks out in sound and that was actually a, an editing issue, not editing, but it was a, a video recording issue that my video camera actually blanked out the sound at one point for like a split second. So I don't know if that's what you're talking about, Nicole, or if you're talking about something else, but that was, uh, that was me. I just tried to leave it in there so that people wouldn't notice because it wouldn't make sense if I didn't leave it in there. Um, let's see, Megan, Genevieve, you tried the L Skincare line. I haven't. I would really like to, though. Uh, I try not to do skincare for review because I feel like it takes forever to see any kind of results. So I don't really buy a lot of skincare for review, but I did, um, I did consider getting that, but I didn't. Maybe one day. Maybe one day. Uh, let's see. I am reading everything. I'm just not going to read everything out loud. Oh, Grady said she got the Ofra highlighter that was striped and she liked it. I didn't get that one. Oh, I wish I'd gotten that one. Um, Samantha says it says live, but it's just a black screen. Try refreshing, Samantha. Oh, Christine said the same thing. Try refreshing. Oh, Helen. H. Razzle Dazzle says Helen. Yes, that's what it was. I totally remember. Um, let's see. Okay. So Samantha's here now. Okay. Hold on a minute. Let's see. Okay. Beauty Hall 411. Jen, I wanted to let you know that the ColourPop brand is an amazing brand. You really should give them a try. Their products are very affordable and unlike any other brand. I know I should. I know I should. But, it, it, you know, this is, I think I've said this before as far as ColourPop, you know, 
Everybody reviews ColourPop. Do I need more makeup? No, I don't need any more makeup. So really, I'm only buying makeup to review on the channel. And if everybody's reviewing ColourPop and everybody says it's amazing, then why, why even bother to buy it? You know, like, I don't know. Does that make logical sense? Uh, I don't know. I guess if people want me to want to hear me say that it's amazing along with everybody else. But this is the thing. Kristen Game, who's a good friend of mine that I uh, trust 100%. There were some, some of the eyeshadows that she didn't really like. So I don't know. Maybe I should get the ones she didn't like to see if they're, I don't like them either. <laughs> That's the only, sorry, I keep touching my eyes. My eyes are dry. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know. I really should. You're right. I'm with you. You're right. Ali says, good morning. Welcome, Ali. It's good to see you again. Alicia, good morning again, Alicia. Loving your What's Up. Yay. I'm glad you love What's Up and Makeup and my personality. Thank you. That means a lot to me. Um, I had a lot of people unsubscribe after that, um, the video I did about Baltimore. Woo. I had a lot of people unsubscribe. But that's okay. Then then if they don't like, if they, if people don't like that side of me like that's not it's obviously not what i'm going to be doing all the time is videos like that so like i might throw in an occasion that's the first video i've ever made like that on this channel so if people didn't like that video and they, they then they obviously didn't like the rest of my content enough to stay and that's fine like i don't want people subscribed if they're not if they don't like it if they don't like me if they don't like you know my content then people should not say subscribed i would rather have an accurate uh, subscriber count of people that actually enjoy my videos. So that's just me personally. I'd rather have a lower number and have it be accurate. That's just me. But, all right. Uh, let's see. Samantha Richmond, no new beauty testing for me. <laughs> yes. No, don't do it. Flory says she likes my coffee mug. Thank you. I, there's a, there's a Sesame street land or something. We went there like two years, two summers ago. It was weird, but I got a mug. Bradley says, I seriously look forward to these live streams so much. I look forward to having you here, Bradley. You had some great questions last week. I always learn so much and end up adding so many products to the list of things I need to buy. So thanks for the great reviews. No problem, Bradley. It's good to have you here. Um, Beauty Hall 411, the lip pencils and lipsticks. Oh, she's talking about the um, the ColourPop. That things are cheap. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. I know I should. I should. One one month, well, I did really good in April not buying a ton of stuff. So in May, maybe that'll be a thing to get some ColourPop stuff. <laughs> Nicole says, don't get the test tube. I agree. I agree. Gold Digger says, drop new beauty test tube after the last tube, but he's not happy. I know. It's not good. It's not good. And even in the videos, when I review it, I say it's not good. Maybe that's why they keep charging me. Maybe because they want me to stop reviewing it. But those videos get so many views compared to my other subscription boxes. I don't want to stop reviewing it because they get a lot of views. People seem to enjoy it. So, you know, maybe because I every time I'm like, ah, this box is terrible. <laughs> But anyway, maybe that's why people watch them because they know I'm going to be like, oh, it's terrible. All right. Um, Steph Zilla, the Mac for Pro, oh, Mac for Pro and ones to clarify. That was before I started looking at Mac stuff for What's Up and Makeup. So I'm not familiar because I, I never kept up before What's Up and Makeup. I never kept up with Mac stuff. So I didn't know that, but I will have to look that up after the um, video is over. Oh, the other thing that I learned about this chat thing, even though it's cool, I can't see any comments that go into the chat after the video is done. So like anybody that puts anything in that I don't read before I close the chat, excuse me, where I close the chat, I never get to read, which totally upset me that I could not read them because I wanted to see what I missed that I didn't get to. Um, okay, let's see. Um, yeah, name Nicole says, Fat Fit Fun is a good too, but not all beauty. I'll show you something, Nicole. <laughs> they sent me one for review. So this is coming up. Um, it's going to be like, a little bit more of a sponsored -y kind of video, which kind of I, but I'm gonna I'm gonna do it right though. I'm gonna do it genuine because they wanted me to promote their water bottle that you put to the fruit infuser water bottle. And I love, I have one already and I love my fruit infuser water bottle. I've put it up on Instagram, the one that I have, and I get so many compliments on it at work. Like people are like, oh my gosh, is there fruit floating in your water? Like people like freak out over this water bottle. So I felt comfortable like talking about it and showing like recipes and things for with it. And then they sent me the spring box to go along with it to just show you what's inside. So it might sound a little more sponsory, but I'm going to try really, really hard not to make it like the things I've seen lately on YouTube channels that drive me 
bonkers like i'm just going to you know list these talking points and i'm going to i'm going to say you know all of these things because i want you to be more informed no it's not because you want me to be more informed it's because the company told you to say all of these things you know, just just say the company told you to say all those things don't tell you don't lie don't say it's because you want people to be informed it just makes me angry when people don't say in the video that they got the stuff for promotion and that the company told them to say things like it's like God, we're people here. We're people here. This is not a commercial. Like, drives me insane. So I'm going to try to do that fad fit fun box right is my point. And I'm going to move on now because I think I've said enough about that. Um, Ricky Christine Hansen, do you know of any boxes outside the U.S.? I don't keep up with boxes outside the U.S. Uh, I know Birchbox just started to ship some international boxes. Um, you're just going to have to look, uh, Google, not Google, but look on YouTube for your area, you know, um, you know, subscription boxes in and then put your country and see what pops up. I'm so sorry. I don't keep up with that. I can't keep up with everything. I wish I could. Uh, Samantha Richmond, uh, Ipsy obsessed me because even though there's a quiz, I never get what I like. Oh, okay. Emily says I should be doing my project, but this is on. Huh? <laughs> I have girlfriend. I have been there. I have been there so many times. I'm with you. Uh, let's see. Um, I'm, I am reading everything. I'm just, I'm, if it's just commentary, I'm just not going to read it out loud. Uh, Jenny Ryan, wondering if you or anyone else has ever tried the D or D apostrophe or skincare that is on Hot Look right now. I haven't. The original prices are ridiculous, like thousands of dollars, but they're really reduced. I've never tried it. But you got to keep in mind that some brands will up their price and then they never sell them at that price. It's just to make it look fancier. But no, I don't know anything about it. If anybody else knows anything about the D or skincare that's on Hot Look, please talk to Jenny Ryan and let her know. Uh, but I don't, I don't have any knowledge of it. Just the whole Dior, like it's almost like Dior, the little copy thing that bothers me. So I probably won't buy anything from them just because of that. Uh, Julia says, Hey Jen, I was wondering what your favorites from Mac are. I'm going today. It's my first time. Girlfriend, I don't own a lot of Mac. I, I don't. So uh, I, 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 I don't own a lot of Mac. And what I do have, I wouldn't strongly recommend pretty much anything. Uh, <laughs> isn't that terrible? Uh, let's see. There's one. This this lipstick is my favorite lipstick from Mac, but I own three Mac lipsticks. Uh, this is called Naked Paris, and it's definitely not a spring shade. I don't know if you can even see that, but it's like a more of a fall winter shade. But I really like that one a lot. It's very moisturizing. I really like the luster finishes a lot. I love the luster finishes. Um, I have them. You know, a couple of things like, like I got a couple of things from the Cinderella collection, but I don't own any MAC eyeshadows. I don't own any MAC blushes. So I'm the wrong person to ask. Uh, I wish my friend Laura from Mrs. Lil Lim was here because she would be able to give you a ton of great suggestions. But it just ain't my bag. It just ain't my bag. So I'm sorry. I hope you have fun, though, and I hope they're nice to you. That's my wish for you, Julia. All right, Jessica says, good morning. Finally got, got up in time to participate. Yay, Jessica. All right, Lee Sean, hi. Have you tried any Korean makeup at Toot House? Um, I want to try a Toot House. I've heard wonderful, wonderful things. I'll show you. I've shown this in a couple weeks um, on, the on the chat, but this is my favorite Korean uh product that I've ever used. This is called a makeup helper. Uh, and this, I don't know who it's by because it's all in Korean, but this is the best face powder I've ever used in my entire life. It is stinking amazing. You probably can't see that, but it's so incredibly finely milled. Uh, it's about $22. You can't find these online there. I, we had to search for them, uh, but you can find these online and you can pick out the style of the packaging and then you can pick out the shade ranges. Uh, but this is fabulous. And then I've been digging on did I bury it? Where did I put it? Okay. Oh, is it back in the box? This, I think this, I'm pretty sure this is Korean. I'm pretty sure. Is this Korean? Ooh, I don't want to say. No, it's not Korean. Never mind. It just looks Korean, but it's not. Okay. So that's not going to work. Um, but most of the stuff that I've tried that's Korean, I've gotten in Mimi boxes. Uh, and now Mimi boxes changed quite a bit. I haven't gotten any Mimi boxes since then, but uh, but yeah, every, a lot of stuff that I've tried that's uh, Korean makeup is fantastic. So there's definitely things that I want to try. Candy Ferguson Star Looks is good some months. Plus, they give you points for your birthday and every three months so you can get deep dis discount on website orders. Yeah. yeah, I've heard good things about Star Looks. Good things. And I have a couple things. Like I have a couple eyeliner pencils and some lip glosses and things like that. And they're nice. There's nothing like, wow, spe spectacular about them. They don't stand out to me, but they're nice. 
Katie says, I love what's up and make it so much. Yay. Thanks for finding an awesome way to let me know what's new. See you when I start my channel. Yes. Please tell me when you start your channel. Let me know. Samantha Richmond. Uh, let's see. She's talking about Korean, Korean makeup. You should try to um, get some for review. I should. The only thing about Korean makeup is that some of it's more accessible than other. Some things are more accessible than other things. So I don't want to, um, I don't want to review things on the channel that aren't easily accessible to the people that are watching. So that's my only thing about that. So I'll have to find some things that are like the more popular, like the more easily accessible stuff and then review that. Okay. Um, my Indonesian friend, um, Najiko, I'm going to say good night here from Indonesia. It's like the end of the day tomorrow in Indonesia. I think. <laughs> uh, thank you so much. Uh, good night to you as well, Emily. Uh, it's 10 a.m. Sunday where I am. Yeah, it's 10. It's 10 26 here. Um, Yodelin, hello. Good morning from British Columbia, Canada. That's okay. You don't, you don't have to worry about being late, girlfriend. Sunfish out of water. Hi. Uh, let's see. It's a 10 10. So that was 16 minutes ago. I'm I'm kind of behind. Uh, she's in Ohio. Mary Bloods. Why on earth, wet and wild, have that crappy white pan makeup? I don't know why they do that. I accidentally bought one and it just wasn't working for me. At least they identify it. At least they identify, they say, okay, we're going to make a crap eyeshadow product. So let's put it in the white pan. And we're going to make a good eyeshadow product. So let's put it in the black pan so everybody knows the difference. <laughs> so at least they let us know ahead of time by putting it in the white pan that we shouldn't buy it. So weird. So weird. Annette says, good morning, one of my oldest friends on YouTube, meaning the longest time friends on YouTube. Good morning, Annette. Uh, let's see. Helen says, love your mug, Jen. Thank you. What's your favorite high-end makeup brand right now? I would say Kat Von D and Too Faced are my favorites right now. They've been the most consistent, even though I'm not the biggest fan of the contour palette, the uh, face contour palette. Not the biggest fan. The lasting power kind of sucks. Uh, so I'm debating whether I'm going to send it back or not. Mm. But... You know, if, I, I like the way it goes on. It just doesn't stay. So I don't know. Uh, yay or nay with Nicole. Let's see. Okay, she's commenting. Sally says, good morning. Good to see you too. Emily says, what are good non-flaky mascaras? I don't have a big problem with mascaras flaking on me. I don't know, like... When I get mascaras, I, it's it's rare that I get one that flakes. Usually a lot of the drugstore ones will flake, and I hate to say that, but it's true. A lot of the drugstore ones will flake on me. Uh, some ones from the drugstore that I like that do not flake on me are the Jordana Best Last Extreme, the Maybelline Lash Sensational. I love this one. This one reminds me a lot of my high-end mascaras. As far as more expensive ones, the, let's see. I kind of like the Roller Lash. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. It's not my fave of all time, but it's pretty good. Uh, anything else in here that stands out to me right now? Mascaras, mascaras. Uh, those are kind of the ones I'm using right now. And, well, I'm not really using the Jordana one. I really should throw that one away. That one's just old. I need to get a new one of that. Uh, but, yeah, I would say those are kind of the ones that I'm digging on right now that don't flake on me. Uh, Sherry says, yeah, we use the same face polish. I know, girlfriend, I know. Uh, let's see. Okay. Samantha says, just ordered the Tarte Mother's Day kit. Yeah, all that stuff, $54. I know, it's a really good deal if you're wanting to get some of the um, the Tarte stuff. That's pretty awesome. And and I don't think they sell it anymore. I went on, that was the one where you got to choose the stuff in the bag. When I went on there, they it was all sold out. So I didn't put it in the news because it was all sold out. Let's see. Allie says she's been using the Shiseido cleansing oil and white lucent cleanser to wash her face. It's amazing. That's good to know. I've heard so many good things about, about Shiseido uh, skincare. That's so exciting. Um, Yoda Lim says she picked up the Tarte and Power Flower Palette at the VIB sale. Finding the quality of the shadows is just awful. Oh, okay. Tarte and Power Flower. Where is it? I have it. I have it. Where are you? There you are. Mm -hmm. Bam! See, you know, addiction, addiction. All right. Um, you know what's funny is I am not having a problem with the shadows that I've used. I haven't used it too many times. I haven't used this one, and I've barely used this one, and I've barely used this one. But I'm finding that I don't like the blushes. The blushes are not fantastic. And why are they putting these fall looking colors in a spring palette? Like what, what were they thinking on that? Uh, you know, I am going to keep it. I actually really like the shadows in this. I don't know why you're not liking them and I'm liking them. I don't know. 
but I, I felt like they were pretty good. I, I thought they were easy, pretty easy to use. I was pretty happy with them, uh, but I didn't like the blushes in it. So it's funny how we can have such different opinions on the exact same thing. This is the Empower Flower one, I think. Pretty sure there's no name on this, so I always forget, but yes. Yeah. Mm. Um. <laughs> All right, people responding to each other. Okay, back back 1G. Morning, Jen. Love your channel. Any suggestions for a good concealer? I'm new to using concealers and never had to before these awful dark circles came around. All right, on her look right now. The bomb. 50% off until Tuesday. Where are you, my favorite concealer? Sometimes I'm in a rush and things end up in the wrong drawer. What did I do with my concealer? Where did you go? Sometimes it ends up up here. And it did. In my primer drawer. Okay, Time Bomb by The Bomb. This is my favorite concealer. It's amazing. Uh, and I, it's my favorite concealer. I have, I have nothing else to say other than it's my favorite concealer. And it's on Hot Look right now for 50% off. So highly recommend this. And if you want to get me $20 to Hot Look, you can use my referral link <laughs> that I linked under the, the video on the WhatsApp and makeup chat. I do have a referral code for Hot Look uh, that you can feel free to click on and get me 20 bucks. Uh, or you can just go to hotlook.com, whatever makes you happy. But I figured I'd throw that in there because when I get $20, that's always a happy day. Uh, and it just, you know, when people make their first purchase, they get 20 bucks. So, you know, I'm not trying to be greedy. I'm just letting people know, you know, if it, you know, if you want to use it, I want it to be there for you in case you want to use it. But if not, I'm not, I'm not going to, it's okay. <laughs> I don't know. Does that sound bad? I don't know. I just want people to be aware that it's there if they want it. Or you can just go to hotlook.com. Uh, but yes, that's my absolute favorite concealer. If you don't want to do that, um, then I would say this one is a nice one. This is the Glamouflage Light by Hard Candy. This is a good one. And then the NYX concealer is kind of oily. So if you have oily skin or if you're worried about creasing, this probably isn't going to be for you. I also like the Instant Age Rewind by Maybelline. This is a nice one. This is the, uh, the Dark Circle one. I really like that one a lot. So those are those are favorite concealers right now. Okay, let's see. Oh no. Let's see. Amber says, good morning. I ordered a few of the bomb products and can't wait to get them. Yay. I have a couple sample products that I've enjoyed. What the bomb products would you say everyone needs in their collection? Okay, so that's one. Um, also, let's see. What are oh my gosh, so many good things. So many good things. Their eyeshadow palettes are amazing and they're consistently amazing. So I would say with the eyeshadow palettes, pick the one that calls to you the most and you'll like it is what my, my thought would be because I've never had a the balm eyeshadow not work for me ever, ever. Like they're so consistent in formula, really consistent. So the eyeshadows are amazing. Um, the Schwing eyeliner is a little difficult to get used to. It's more of a liquidy formula. It's like a like a, let me show you, let me see if it's here, see if I can find it, but the Schwing eyeliner is kind of fun to play with, the mascaras, the bodybuilder mascara is really nice, um, where is it, I know it's here somewhere, and I'm like clinkety clanking in your ear probably, here it is, okay, so this is the Schwing eyeliner by the Balm, and it's, you see it's got a nice pointed tip, but it's, um, and you dip it in the liquid. You do have to redo it in the liquid so it's not like a pen form, but it just draws such a beautiful liquid line. So if you want an easy to apply liquid eyeliner that's like truly liquid, this is a really nice one. So those are kind of my favorite products by the Balm, but so much good stuff. Let me see if there's anything else on there. The lipsticks are kind of, and the nail polishes actually are really nice. Uh, I love the nail polishes. They're like one coat nail polishes, the ones that I've gotten from them. Let me see if anything else stands out. Let me just look real quick. I'm going to pull it up. Don't get the apples to apples blushes. Um, those I did not like at all. Um, some people may like them, so maybe you might want to try them, but I personally did not like them. The Cindy, um, Cindy Luminizer, I'm not the biggest fan fan of but the Mary Luminizer is very famous for being amazing the blushes are all amazing uh, I've never gotten a blush from them that I didn't like both the instain ones and the regular formula are awesome uh, let's see I haven't tried the new eyeliners if you're just tuning in I'm talking about the balm 
on Hot Look right now. Um, the eyeshadow primer is okay. It's not fantastic. I've never tried their loose shadows. Uh, mascara, I've, the only one I've ever tried is a bodybuilder, and I really like that one. The brow it's, the product is actually really good. Like I said, the end stain blushes are good. The tinted moisturizer is also very nice. The foundation is pretty good. It does crease. If you have fine lines, it does crease in your fine lines, though, so you got to be careful of that. The concealer, like I said, I love. The face primer is pretty good. It's nice. I tried the Strawberry Nourishing Facial Serum, and it's fine. It doesn't really do anything. It does, you know, maybe it does serum-y stuff that I'm not aware of. Uh, and let's see. The dry shampoo is terrible. I don't think that um, that's on here. The brushes are actually very nice. Um, and that's it. So that is recommendations from the balm. I have a full video on all of my the balm collection, so you can check that out as well. I know I spent a lot of time on that, so I'm going to try to go quickly through other things. It's 10:35, so we're halfway done. Uh, Grady says, "I wish there was an easy way to see specific questions." I know. <laughs> It's okay. It's all right. I don't mind. Uh, Christine says, is paying $160 for a custom MAC palette worth it in your opinion? I have no idea. I don't own any, any MAC eyeshadows except for these. These are the only MAC eyeshadows I own, and I'm not crazy about these. They're, they're okay. All right. But I wouldn't go out of my way to buy these. But they're nice. Uh, but no, I don't know because I don't, I don't have enough experience to give an educated opinion. Uh, $160 is a lot, though, girlfriend. That's a lot. Uh, let's see. I'm just reading through. Okay, Yodelin says she loved my Baltimore video. Thank you. A lot of people did not like it. <laughs> but I'm glad you liked it. You liked it, and that's that's what matters, right? Um, let's see. Seth Silla, oh, because I was talking about my Baltimore video and how everybody, like, I lost, like, a lot of subscribers over that video, but it's okay. Um, Seth Silla says, let them unsubscribe. People are so fickle to unsubscribe over one video. That's ridiculous. We all have our opinions, and it's your channel. Post whatever you want. Insane. Well, I mean, if people if people don't like my content that much, they're going to unsubscribe. That's fine. I, You know, that's totally fine with me. Samantha Richmond says, you're my all-time favorite YouTuber without a doubt. Thank you, Samantha. That means so much to me because there's so many people out there. That just means so much to me. Um, let's see. Susan liked my Baltimore video too. Thank you. Grady agreed. And Alexandra, good morning from South Carolina. Jen, two thoughts. I use Scent Sanita skincare, and so far I'm really liking it. Also decided to get my mom boxy charm for Mother's Day. So far she likes it. Oh, good. I'm so glad. Uh, Madam Bugsy, if if in fact, do you know if ColourPop are going to be shipping to the UK? I don't know. Mm, ask Kathleen Lights. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not. I don't know. I'm not associated with them, so I have no idea. Um, Amy Demetrius says, "How are how are things? Things are good. Things are good. I haven't been sleeping a lot lately. Uh, I've been very very busy. Uh, my my jobby job. My kids are reading novels right now. My students. I'm. They're working through. I have three different novels that they're in, and then now I had a pullout group that is now going to be with me for the next three weeks. So I have to plan for them too. So I've got four distinct groups rolling every day that I have to plan for. So it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. So that's been keeping me up late along with editing. I'm so behind on editing. I have a use in box for Mother's Day that's supposed to be up and I don't have it up yet. To be fair, they didn't tell me it was coming, but still I've had a month or so to get this video up. I filmed it. I just need to edit it. So I just, I feel very overwhelmed. But other than that, I'm good. Other than that, I'm good. I'm handling it. I'm handling it. We're going to go look at a bunch of houses today. Um, we're trying to move. Our house is too small. We're trying to go get out of this place uh, because it's just, we've outgrown it. So we're going to look for it. Look at six houses today. So really excited about that. The first house is at 1230. So super excited. So I'm good. Thanks for asking, Amy. How are you? Kimberly, do you have any suggestions for a good eyeliner for beginners? Yes, I do, girlfriend. I got a couple for you. All right. It depends on how much you want to spend. I'll give you a couple of options. Okay. One that's good for the, hold on, pull out a few of them because I like all of these. All right. Hold on a minute. Get them all out. Okay. Four, baby. Four. Okay. So one is the Maybelline Master Precise. I recommend for beginners a pen liner. Absolutely no doubt about it. Where people mess up is they get those pencil liners and they're smudgy. They don't go on straight. They're difficult to use, especially for that upper lash line. Lower lash line pencil, absolutely. But upper lash line, go for a pen. You got, you got the perfect amount of product on there. Like, I wouldn't, I, that's what I recommend. So for pen liners that I love, the Maybelline Master Precise, this one doesn't have a very long lasting power though, as far as 
it dries out um, and also the tip will be start bending and it won't be as usable. Uh, so I do really like this while it is alive, but it only lasts, I would say, about two months or so before it starts kind of losing its pizzazz. You know what I'm saying? Uh, one that's less accessible that is my favorite is the Jessie's Girl Liquid Eyeliner. I talk, I talk about this all the time, so I apologize if you hear me talk about this every week, but she asked. So Jessie's Girl Liquid Eyeliner is my favorite, but really difficult to find. They do sell Jessie's Girl products in a lot of Rite Aids, but they don't necessarily carry the eyeliner, but that's another one. Uh, another one that I really like that I've never talked about is the Physician's Formula Eyeliner. This is the eye booster two in one last boosting blast boost lash boosting two in one lash boosting eyeliner and serum this is the brown one i got this on a trade on ediv and i really really like this a lot this one is more of a bendy kind of um brush so it's a little bit harder than the other ones you just have to really get it in that one stroke so this one's a little bit more difficult to work with but i do really like it i want to get this in the black eventually but I like this one. If you can't find the other ones, I would recommend the Maybelline over that one though. And then this one, if you want high end, the Tarte Multiply is fantastic. I just got this off of Hot Look and this one is amazing. I would say that this one's just as good as the Jessie's Girl one, but it is a lot more expensive. So that would be my recommendation for high end though. But yes, go for a pen liner, girlfriend, Miss Kimberly. Jessica says, if anyone has was, has watched your videos for any amount of time, they should not be surprised by your Baltimore video. Oh, thank you. You're always upfront and honest, keeping yourself. Thank you. I think people saw that I was kind of whining about it, you know, that, you know, oh, my life is so hard. You know, there's riots in Baltimore and, you know, oh, it's so bad here. And I wasn't trying to come off like that because I know that around the world, things are so much worse than, than we have it in Baltimore. It's just, it's kind of shocking when it's happening in your own backyard and it's never like for the time that I've lived here nothing like this has ever happened before so like thinking about my friends going home into that kind of situation is very scary for me so it's just not something that I'm used to I wasn't trying to complain like that my life was terrible or that things were extra bad for me or anything like that I wasn't trying to say that I was just kind of expressing my feelings on the whole thing um, oh and by the way the cops are being charged uh, with uh, manslaughter all, all six of them are being charged with manslaughter, by the way, which the city, I think, is now going to calm now because we know that there's going to be justice. But this is the thing. If there weren't riots, would these cops have been charged? I don't know. I don't know. So it's just it's such a sticky, 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 sticky tub, uh, subject. So a topic, subject. That was subject is what happens when you mix a subject and a topic. So <laughs> but but yeah, I mean, you know, it is what it is. I debated back and forth about putting up that video. I like to the last minute of whether I was going to put it up or not. I'm glad I did. Uh, let's see. Uh, Nicole's responding. Annette's responding. Diane, Deanne. Hi, Deanne. Good morning. Not sure if you already went over this, but I'm curious about the cover effects. Custom cover drops are any good? So many mixed reviews. I know they're expensive, but any chance you'll try it? I really, 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 really want to try it really bad. I was actually talking to Lily. I was texting back and forth with Lily while I was editing last night and she does not like them. Well, she says they're kind of hit or miss. She likes the effect, but she says that they never quite set completely. So your skin always feels a little bit tacky. I haven't heard that from anybody except for Lily, but I trust Lily a hundred percent. So I'm curious, like maybe certain formulas will be more tacky than others. Like she said, I forgot what foundation she said she mixed it with, but but yeah, I've heard a lot of good things. And I think that that's really, really interesting. Like I would love to put, you know, some custom cover drops in this, like, and see what happens. I have some sunscreen that I love the way it feels. I got it in a mini box. My Korean friend I got this in a mini box, and this is the High Protection Moringa Light Sunblock, and it's by Seven Drops. And this stuff looks amazing. I haven't used it yet, but it feels like it feels fabulous. It's like got this really nice, smooth texture, and just. It's got a nice smell to it, and it just, oh, I would love to put some custom cover drops in this and see how that goes. Um, it's got a little bit of a sunscreen kind of smell, but I would love to put them in this and see what happens. But I, I think that will be my next purchase. I really do, because I don't think I'm going to not be able to try it. I have to. I have to try it. I have to. And if I have to take it back, I have to take it back. It is what it is. Um, Laura says they work for her. Oh, 
She can't get her cover. Oh, Laura says, I can't get my cover effects drops to work for me. She's going to return them. <gasps> oh, that's good to know. All right, we got 15 minutes left. So if you haven't, if you're just putting in a comment for me now, I probably won't get to it. I'm so sorry. Um, I do have to get ready at 11 o'clock because my family is coming back. We have to leave here by 1130. So I have to be completely ready to go by 1130. So, all right, Madam Bugsy, do you have any insiders that know about color pops? No. Nope. I don't know anybody. I don't, I'm, I don't, I'm not in the color pop circle with Kathleen and Danny. I'm not in that circle. I'm outside the circle, way outside the circle. <laughs> so I don't know. Okay. Uh, Nicole says she loves FabFitFun. So cool that I got it for free. I know. I couldn't believe it. I was so excited. I wasn't trying to brag, by the way. I hope that you guys didn't think I was trying to brag about the FabFitFun box. I'm not trying to. I'm trying to share stuff with my friends. Like, I consider you guys my friends. And I'm just sharing it with you and showing you that it's coming on the channel. I hope you don't think that I was bragging about it because I'm not. I'm not trying to be like that. That's so not me. Um, Sunfish out of water question about the Mary Luminizer. Okay, that's by the bomb. It's the highlighter that's very, very famous. Um, for you, I'm already a huge fan of the uh, huge bomb fan and own many of the products thanks to YouTube. But hold look, wondering if there is a difference between the highlight and the Balm Jovi palette and the actual Mary Luminizer. I can tell you. Where's the Balm Jovi palette? I have it. Let's figure it out together, girlfriend. Okay, so here's the Balm Jovi. Bam. And this is called Disco Disco, is a highlighter. I'm pretty sure it's more gold. And then let's get into the Mary Lou. Where are you, Mary Lou? There you are. And then here's Mary Lou. Yes, there is a difference. Mary Lou is more champagne, and the one in here is a little bit more gold. Uh, it's not a huge difference. Let me see if I can... If you'll be able to see, I don't know if you'll be able to see. It's definitely a very subtle difference, but this one definitely has more of a pinky tone where this one has more of a peachy tone. This is the Mary Luminizer is the more, a little bit more pinky champagne-y. And then the Disco Disco in the Balm Jovi is a little bit more peach toned. So the shine on it looks about the same. Uh, it looks like, yeah, they're definitely different. This one has more, the the Balm, the Balm Jovi one, the Disco Disco, has a little bit more goldish kind of flex in it, where this one has more of like silver rose goldish kind of flex in it. Kind of, It's so finely milled, it's really hard to see. But there's definitely a difference. Are you going to be able to tell the difference in the cheeks? Probably not. But in the swatch, I can tell. So there you go. Yay, we got to figure that out together. It says it's one of the same, but nope, it's not the same. It's definitely not the same. There's no way that's the same. It's not the same. They're crazy. <laughs> you know what? Honestly, you said you said you're a bit more yellow. So I honestly, like, I would do the peach one over the the champagne one. I would go for this one. So I, when, when, don't you think the peach would look better on a yellow skin tone than the pink? I think so. That's my opinion. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. And that's saying, what's wrong with the cover of Fex Drops? Yeah, I, I've heard I've heard mixed reviews. I've heard that sometimes it's difficult to work with. I've heard uh, like um, you know about the stickiness from Lily. Hoping I can just get random highlighter on my face. Uh, L'Oreal Telescopic from Yarny with Nicole doesn't uh, flake is what she says. That's cool. Hi, Amy. Amy says hi. Bradley says in the UK, Glossy Box is probably one of his favorites. So if you're looking for a UK subscription box, Bradley says Glossy Box. Good stuff. Thank you, Bradley. Uh, people talking to each other. Ricky says love from Norway. Oh, I'm so glad you're enjoying the channel. Thank you so much, Ricky. Oh, no. Sunfish Out of Water has been flagged as spam. No. Not spam. You are not spam. P.S. I hope Lila's Symphony trip is rescheduled. I hope so too. They're still working on it. Since the um the Symphony was the one that canceled it, they're trying to reschedule it. But there's so many kids that didn't get to go that they're gonna have some trouble rescheduling. But they're gonna try. They actually the um BSO, the Balmer Symphony Orchestra, actually performed out in the streets that day. They actually had an outdoor concert for everyone that day. Uh, but I would not take my kids, I was not taking my kids down in the city that day. But I thought that was really cool of them to do that. Okay. Yeah, they're they're really fantastic. I've, I've actually already been uh, with fourth grade this year. She's in first grade, so it was their turn to go. A couple of the grades have gone so far. Uh, Flecka says, hey, Jen, it's Leanne. Oh, yeah. Oh, the ColourPop highlighters. It's $8 a piece. 
not 18. Did I say 18 in the video? <gasps> I hope I didn't say 18 in the video. Oh, I might have. Oh, I hope I didn't. They're $8 a piece. Oh, whoops. I better put an annotation on that. <sighs> I hate when I do things like that. People are now like 9,000 people are going to tell me that. I hate when I make mistakes about that. Oh, okay. I don't know why I said 18. They're $8. Mm, well, thank you for letting me know. I'll put an annotation and I'll put a note in the description. Thank you, Flecka One. Oh, Leanne, aka Leanne. Uh, let's see. Bradley says, not a fan of Mac. Benefit Urban Decay and the Balm are his favorites. Let's see. Kimberly says, I have the Brow Wiz from Anastasia. Do I also need the pomade? You know what I've heard about the Brow Wiz is that it runs out really, really fast. There is a very tiny bit of product in there. Um, I would say if you like your brows dark, I would say get the pomade. If you like them to be like really pigmented. Like my brows in the What's Up and Makeup show that just went live, I was using the pomade. And you can see like I caked it on because with my black hair, if I don't put on like thicker brows, like more um, dense brows, I feel like it looks weird with my darker hair. So I've been using it a lot. If you like a more natural brow, I would say don't get the pomade. It's not it's not worth it if you like your brow is. Uh, Madam Bugsy. You can all buy ColourPop and I can't. I'm sorry. Uh, let's see. Alyssa Marie. Hey, Jim, what do you recommend from Benefit? I got this question last week, too. I don't like a lot of Benefit stuff. To be completely honest, there's not a lot of Benefit stuff that I really love. Like, right now, I have the Roller Lash, but it's just okay. Uh, I have one of the cream eyeshadows. It's just okay. Uh, let me look at my drawers. The primers are nice. The Benefit primers are good. Uh, let's see. The Stay Flawless. Yeah, it's okay. Um, yeah. I'm honestly not a huge benefit fan. Like, as far as things, like, they just don't blow me away. Like, a lot of Tarte stuff doesn't blow me away. Some Tarte stuff does, but not a lot. So, yeah, I don't have a lot of suggestions for benefit. That's probably the one that I own the least amount of stuff from. Um, yeah, I wish I could tell you more about that. Yeah, the primers, I guess, would probably be the best stuff that I own from Benefit. Yeah, yeah, probably. If anyone else has any Benefit suggestions, talk to um, Alyssa. So, yeah. uh, let's see. What is your strangest beauty product from Megan? Strangest beauty product. Strangest. Strangest beauty product. Do I have beauty products that are strange? I'm sure I do. This is a weird one. I don't think I've ever showed you guys this one. This is the Tightline Waterproof Full Lash Mascara by It Cosmetics. Oops, I always open it upside down. This is weird. Look at that. It's very weird. And it dried out on me. I don't know why I keep it. I guess because I never talk about it. So I figure one day I will talk about it. It worked pretty nicely when it was when it was working when it wasn't dried out um it really lengthened the lashes gave no volume and that tight line thing was really weird i felt like it was going to poke my eyeball out this is a weird product we're going to go with this one this one's very weird i mean look at that what weird 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 all right <laughs> what a great question megan i love that question uh, let's see. Good drugstore under eye setting powders. I don't use a specific under eye setting powder um, because I don't have I don't have dry, especially dry or oily under eyes. So I just use regular face powders, um, and I've never done anything different. I have been loving this though. This is the Besame Brightening Vanilla Powder in Translucent. I've been loving this. It's very finely milled. It smells like vanilla. It comes with this little puff that I can't seem to get to work for me. But, man, it smells good. It has the little um, the little sifter here. So what I do is I tap this into the, the lid or whatever and then, um, then use my brush and put it in the cap. Uh, but it smells really good. And this is, this is a Sephora product in case you were unaware of that. Or not Sephora product, but you can get it at Sephora. And it's relatively new. They, the, in What's Up and Makeup, we talked about the violet one today. Um, so that I've been really loving. Uh, other ones, as far as just setting powders in general, I like my Vincent Longo one. This is in Golden Sienna. Uh, I do really like this one a lot. That one is a little bit overpriced, though. Uh, my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish I really like. 
I don't know. I'm trying to find ones. The Milani one is pretty nice. Um, but if you have uh, fine lines, this one will accentuate fine lines. This is the multitasker face powder. This one's in medium. I really like that one a lot. But yeah, I just use regular face powder. So I don't know if that's helped. Oh, you said drugstore specifically. <gasps> sorry about that. Totally didn't even read that correctly. I'm sorry. So Milani, Rimmel. The next one's okay. This is the NYX um, blotting powder. This one's okay. I have um, number two, light medium. That one's pretty good. But those are the ones that I have that I like. So hopefully that's helpful. <laughs> All right, five minutes left. Oh, I'm so sad. I hate when it comes down to five minutes left. It makes me sad. All right, Samantha, there are peel off lip stains from a Korean brand. They want to send me those for review. Should I review those, Samantha? The peel off lip stains? I'm scared. <laughs> I showed them to my coworkers. I was like, I'm so freaked out right now. Ah, see, now I'm thinking I'm like, I should probably say yes to them. If you know about them, Samantha, maybe I should review them. Mm. Now I'm thinking about it. Now I'm thinking about it because of you, Samantha. It'll be all your fault if I review them. Uh, let's see. Christina, do you have any tips for taking off peel-off masks easier? I don't really use peel-off masks because they're painful. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. I don't use it very often. I got the um, the Freeman masks. Uh, what was it? The influencer box. And I'm just not a big fan of masks. So I don't have any tips for taking them off easier. That's a lot of pain, though. I didn't wasn't expecting that much pain. Well, can you just rinse those things off instead of peeling them off? Is that possible to just like use a cleanser? Will that break it down? I don't know. I've never tried it. OK, Madam, Madam Bugsy says, call me Bugsy. All right, Bugsy. Okay, apparently they have legal issues to deal with. I'm not sure. Oh, maybe talking about the people in uh, Baltimore, maybe. Um, Steph Zill, have you tried the Balms highlighters? Yes. Uh, get don't get don't get Cindy Lou. Don't get Cindy Lou. Cindy Lou is not very good. Where's Cindy Lou? She's like at the back of my drawer. Where are you, Cindy Lou? I totally just bit my lip. I'm gonna be like bleeding on you. Ew. Okay. Yeah, Mary Lou. Get Mary Lou. This is Cindy Lou. Don't get Cindy Lou. Cindy Lou, my Cindy Lou's broken, but it's just a weird, weird shade. Um, if you're of a deeper skin tone, though, you might like Cindy Lou. But if you're my skin tone or lighter or even maybe a little darker than me, you might not like Cindy Lou. But get Mary, Mary Lou's amazing, uh, but it's very bold. So if you like a more subtle highlight, you probably won't like it. All right. Najiko, have you tried the Korean brand 3CE? No. I saw, I saw a lot of ads about it them, but I don't know if they're great, but really don't know. No, I haven't, but I will keep my eye out for it. Cat's Eye View. Hello from Nebraska. Non-beauty. How about Hatchery Box? I have quite a few Hatchery Box unboxings. Hatchery Box is really fun. You don't get a lot of bang for your buck for Hatchery, but it's a really fun box to get, and it's fun to try a lot of new things. Um, it's an artisan food subscription service, so you get like little jams and jellies or little seasonings and spice rubs and things like that. If you are a foodie, I would recommend it as long as you understand that you're not getting a ton of stuff for the price. You're getting about the value value that you're paying for like it's it's about equal for what you would pay versus what you get but it is a nice one I really liked it when I got it let's see I keep licking my lip because I know I bit my lip it probably looks terrible too all right okay Ha, ah, thanks, Jen. And totally unrelated, but I tried Ipsy for one month and they gave me a broken lipstick, broken blush, a plastic bag filled with moisturizer. <laughs> Did that happen to anyone else? Oh no, that's terrible. <laughs> Julia, that's a terrible story. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's terrible. That didn't happen to me. I've gotten broken lipsticks and broken blushes from them, especially broken blushes quite often. Amy says, do you have a P.O. box? I do not have a P.O. box. I have my husband's business address under the about section of my YouTube channel. I don't advertise it much because I feel like it's one of those things where, you know, you guys work so hard for your money and for you guys to spend money on sending you things is kind of awkward for me. Like it's kind of like I feel like you guys I don't deserve you guys to spend stuff money on these, but I love letters and and things like that. Letters are fantastic. Um, so if you want to contact me through a letter, uh, then feel free to send a letter to um, that address. Again, it's in my about section on my YouTube channel. If you go to my channel and you click about, it'll be there. Jess says hello from Houston. Hello. 
Okay. Uh, Bugsy says she's 36. She has lupus, so time is not on her side. She wants the entire collection. <laughs> oh. I have a lot of friends with lupus that are doing fantastic. Lily has lupus, and she's doing fantastic. So I'm hoping that, you know, they get things worked out with that. I don't know how to even talk about that, but um, I'm meeting a lot of people. It seems like every day I'm meeting someone new on YouTube that has lupus. I know it's really difficult to deal with when they're going through some lupus moments. It's just so tough, so tough. I'm so sorry about that. Um, I, I know that sounds terrible, like, because this isn't rehearsed, like, I don't even know how to even speak eloquently about that, so I apologize if I sound ridiculous. Um, let's see, Nicole just got her first Mimi box, she got the nylon box, uh, let's see, Bradley says Two Face is one of his favorites, okay, I had to hit the, hit a button, so now I'm, hold on a minute. I had to hit a button, so now I'm like way not in the right place. Okay, sorry. I'm trying to go up and find where I was. Oh no, I'm way behind. Whoa! Bradley. Hold on. It was Bradley, but I got to find the right Bradley comment. Mm, I'm sorry, guys. I'm trying to find. Okay, here we go. Broken blush. Bradley, there we go. Hold on a minute. What's going on? Oh, no. I can't find where I was. Holy moly. Oh, here we go. Found it. Okay. Let's see. Flecka says, Kat Von D has the best black, black matte eyeshadow I've ever tried. Yes. 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 Um, Samantha says, the bomb seems so expensive. Is it worth the price? It's worth the half price. <laughs> <laughs> totally worth the half price. Get it on Holt Look while it's half price. I never buy the bomb full price unless it's a brand new product that I just have to have. Um, and I can't wait, which I think has happened once. I've, I've pretty much gotten everything off of Look. Uh, Allie says the Dior stuff is no bueno. <gasps> oh, good to know. All right. So there's the answer. Dior stuff is no bueno, according to Allie. And I trust Allie. Allie's awesome. Abby says, have you ever tried Makeup Forever Smoky Extravagant Mascara in the full size? I love the sample, but I've heard this full size is different, worse. No, I haven't. I've tried a, a Makeup Forever Mascara, but it wasn't the Smoky Extravagant one. Sorry, I don't know about that one. Uh, let's see. I'm reading through comments to other people. Caroline says, good morning from Cincinnati. Love what's up in makeup. Thank you so much. And the left chat become part of my Sunday morning routine. Me too. <laughs> um, let's see. Debbie. Hi, Debbie Glenn. Uh, favorite nail polish. Favorite nail polish? Like single polish? Oh, my goodness. There's no way. There's no way I could do that. Like, that's just like asking me to pick my favorite child. I, I have like 200 favorite children. When it comes to nail polish, I'll show you a couple of the ones I've been loving lately that are really cool. Um, let's see. Wait, let's see. Do I have any over here? See, I don't really like those. The the nail polishes from the Balm I really like a lot. Um, let me show you some cool ones that I've been liking. Look at this one. I got this one from Julep. Oh my gosh, this one's called Danielle. It's an iridescent, like blue with like purple iridescence, and it's got shimmer. Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. Loving this one. Oh my goodness, so many good ones. So many good ones. I can't even tell you. You know what, girlfriend? I can just tell you some brands that I really like because there's so many, you know, polishes that I love. Um, I love Sally Hansen Extreme Wear. I love Maybelline's Color Show, the Metallics line, if you can find those. I'm pretty sure they don't sell those anymore, though. I love Julep for the most part. I would say 90% of their polishes I love. Um, I love... The Insta Dry from Sally Hansen is kind of hit or miss for me, but it's mostly hit for me. NCLA I really like as a nail polish brand. Um, I'm not a huge OPI fan. I'm not a huge Essie fan. Ciate I'm not a huge fan of. Uh, let's see. Any other ones? Orly's hit or miss for me. Uh, let's see. Anything else I want to mention? Formula X I really like for the most part. I tried their new, the seashell ones. <laughs> They're terrible. Don't get the seashell ones. Um, Color Club is hit or miss for me. It was all hit, and then recently I got this little mini set, and these things are terrible. Um, 
but yeah, that's that's a little summary and nail polish stuff. Oh, it's 11.04. Oh, I'm so sad. Oh my goodness. Um, Flecka about the glamour, the, the perfusion glamour bars. <laughs> she wants to try them. I have a feeling they're not going to be very good. The perfusion glamour bars. I'm going to push it another 10 minutes. I'm going to do it because my family's not home and I think I can get ready really quickly. So if I push it another 10 minutes, let's go to 11.15. To let's just keep going. 15, 10 more minutes, 10 more minutes. Um, let's see. Okay, Alicia, hello everyone. I keep forgetting what time this starts, but I get excited when I get to hop in for a bit. It starts at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time every Sunday morning, unless I have something going on for some reason. Let's see. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Uh, Yodelin, Empower Flower, my shadows are super dry and powdery. No, why? Why are mine working well? That's good to know. She has the Charlotte pal palette and it's amazing. But I really like mine. Why are you guys hating yours? I like mine. <laughs> I don't know. I'll have to play with it more and see if I can figure out why you guys don't like it. Um, Nicole says, Alicia, it's 7 a.m. Pacific or 10 a.m. Eastern. Yes, that's true. Uh, let's see. I'm reading through comments to each other. Alexa says, I love you. I love you, too. What do you rec recommend packing for a trip abroad makeup-wise? You mean, like, in general, like, what you're going to need? Oh, I wish you, I wish that there'd be more, there was more detail there. Um, different products that would work or just in general? Um, we'll, we'll try to go with both, okay? Um, so as far as, like, eyeshadow palettes that I would bring if I was going on a trip abroad, honestly... I would bring this. I really like this. This is a little palette nude one. I love this palette. I really do. This was my favorite of my drugstore palettes. I have that video that I still need to edit that's going to be coming up. But this is such a nice hard case, and it comes with the brush inside. It takes a little bit longer to apply the shadows with this teeny tiny brush, but it works. It works, girlfriend. Um, for eyeshadow brushes, if you want really nice eyeshadow brushes to take with you, the Ego Tools has a little, um, it's like a little brush roll and of eyeshadow brushes. They're amazing the eyeshadow brush the one is really really big but it works really well it's got a great angled crease brush that's fantastic in there it's got a nice detailing brush and it rolls up really small so I would recommend that um, I do have a video where I show you what I brought to eye mats um, which was a vlog you can check that out on my channel and maybe get some other ideas of some things that I brought for travel when I went to New York um, but yeah I mean those are those are definitely some must-haves for me if I was going abroad uh, let's see for foundation um, definitely you want to take something that's not glass so you know um, honestly this is one this is a foundation that nobody really talks about but I really like this this is a L'Oreal visible lift blur foundation I really like this it's nice full coverage and it feels good it feels like a primer like a silicone primer almost going on and it's got a really nice lasting power no one ever talks about this when you pack a foundation get one of the ones with the soft tube uh, that will help. This is another one that's really popular right now. The L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte is really popular right now. It's just okay for me. Um, but yeah, those would be some ones I would recommend for travel. Holly Brownwin, good morning, Jen. Broke my no buy first uh, Sephora.com order of the year. Urban Decay Grindhouse, as it's supposed to be good for the ColourPop liners. I do have that, and I do really like my Grindhouse. It's it's. It's old. I've had it forever, and it's still going very strong. I love this sharpener. It's wonderful. Uh, let's see. Okay. So seven minutes left, and then I got to go. All right. Uh, have you tried, Samantha said, have you tried the Tarte True Blood palette? No. And that is the only Tarte I have. I really want to try more, but couldn't afford it until now. Okay. Um, let's see. No, I haven't tried that. Okay. Holly. Okay. Oh. She's talking about perfume. I don't know who she's talking about. Two perfumes. Yeah, I don't know. Okay. Oh, Beck says, thanks, Jen. Of course, I'll use your code. I just feel bad plugging my code, you know, but I want people to know so that they have the choice. And it's nice to get $20 in credit, you know. I mean, we all, we all like to have free money, you know, and I'm honest, and I can't help it. I can't help it. I like free money. I do. I like free money and I can't help it. I mean, who doesn't like free money, but who admits that they like free money? Nobody except for me, because I'm, you know, I have, I can't shut my mouth when it comes to being honest about things. And it may sound bad, but it's real and it's true. And anybody that says they don't like free money is lying. You know, it's not like I do this for the money. I'm not doing, doing this for the money, but 
Free money is nice. You know, I am I a terrible person? <laughs> I hope not. Look at all this stuff I tell you guys, and it's on and it's recorded on the channel, and then people go back and then they twist it. But it is what it is. The people who love me will continue to love me, even when I say things that are questionable. <laughs> All right, let's move on from there. Insert foot mouth disease right here. Okay, and that is a real disease, but you know. All right, I got to move on. I got to shut up. All right, Jessica Vaughn, I pretty much can only afford drugstore products, but if I want to splurge on high-end makeup product, which one should you choose? Um, it depends on what you're looking for. I mean, there's so many good high-end products. I mean, honestly, like, I love my Naked too. I would always and forever recommend this to somebody that wants a, like a, that wants to really get something that is going to be amazing and going to be worth the purchase. I always recommend this, and I can't get it back in the thingy. Can't get it back in there. Um things that are really, truly worth the purchase. That, the Naked 2, man, the Naked 2. I mean, there's a lot of things, like I love my Too Faced lipsticks, but do you need this? No, you don't need that. It's nice. I really like my Marc Jacobs lipstick, but do you need that? No, you don't need that. There's a lot of stuff I really like, but it's not a need. It's not something where I can be like, yes, you will be so happy you spent $50. This is pretty much it that I can think of off the top of my head that is truly, truly worth the price. Truly, truly. We'll look at some other drawers just to make sure I didn't miss anything. I mean, there's a lot of things that are great, but nothing else stands out to me. That's it. Bridget says, hi, Jen. Just want to say I love you. I love you too, Bridget. Um, I, Bridget, it was funny, Bridget. I remember Bridget a couple days ago. She was like, you responded to me. I'm like, yes. We're all real people here. <laughs> you know, the whole thing about, you know, people that make beauty videos and how they're so, like, they don't respond to people. And, you know, people put them up on a pedestal. And it's like, you know, I've said this in videos before. We all poop. You know, we all, like, breathe. We all, you know, I mean, it's just, we're all just people. Like, I thought that was really funny. She was like, you responded to me. And it's like, yes, I did. And I'm going to keep responding to people. I'm, I'm always going to be me no matter what. And if you look back at my very first videos, you'll see I'm still the exact same person that I was in my very first videos. If you look back to my old channel, Gen Love 37, you'll see I'm the exact same person I was on Gen Love 37. I was maybe a little more awkward when I first started Gen Love 37, but I'm still the same person. And I'm always going to be the same person. I, I don't see that changing. Even though it seems like there's a disease people catch at 100,000 subscribers that, you know, they start turning fake. But, you know, what you going to do? What you going to do? That ain't going to be me, though. I'll tell you that. I promise you that is not going to be me. All right. Let's see. What else do we got? Uh, Bugsy, I'm so jealous that you guys can all get ColourPop. They don't ship to the UK. It makes me sad. It made me sad, too. Uh, Sally says, have you tried the Wet n Wild makeup removal wipes? I haven't. Um, I've heard bad things, though. I know their eyeshadow, the eyeshadow, their eye makeup remover, the, the bottle one, burned my eyes so bad. I have a really old video about the, the liquid makeup remover. It was terrible. It was, like, seriously, like, stinging to the point where I had to, like, wash my face because it was the skin around my eyes was burning. It wasn't just in my eyes. It was, like, around my eyes. It was terrible. But I haven't tried the remover wipes. Bradley is talking to Jessica. There, everybody's giving advice, which is great. Um, Athena says, have you tried the new hard candy, candy palettes? Yes. I have a video with swatches and stuff. I have a video coming up with a full review of them. Um, they're good. They're good. Uh, they're not amazing. They're not high-end quality, but they're good. Um, I would recommend the neutral one the most. The neutral, the smoky one. The sassy one is just okay for me. Let's see. Okay, 11.13. I got two more minutes. All right, let's see how many we can get in in two minutes. Uh, Alicia said, I just got my first ColourPop or yesterday. I got three highlighters, Bay and Kathleen Lights Quad. How do you like them, Alicia? I wish I could find out. Uh, send me a message or something or send me an email. Let me know what you thought of your stuff that you got. Uh, I'm so happy for Kathleen Lights and all of her successes. I hope that she stays grounded. I really do. Um, because she's so beautiful and she's so talented and she's so fun. And I just hope that she stays that way. Uh, Emily, can we get sleek makeup in the U.S.? I know, right? Uh, Bridget says, have you tried the wet and wild makeup remover wipes? Okay. Oh, yeah. We, I already answered that. Okay. Uh, let's see. Yeah, Athena says she tries the sassy eyes and she loved it. If you like the sassy eyes, you'll love the neutral and the smoky if you like those shades, especially the neutral one. That one's nice. 
Uh, Alicia says Semtalia has good reviews of the sleek eye shadow palette. Semtalia has good reviews of everything. If you want an amazing blog to read, go to Temtalia.com. Holy moly, best blog. Temtalia, musings of a muse. I have um, links to my favorite blogs under every What's Up in Makeup. Uh, just amazing. Kaylee Sanchez. Yeah, you made it. Yeah, I'm so happy for you. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad you're here. I'm happy for me that you're here. Uh, let's see. Lori says, Baltimore video, you kept it real much respect. Thank you. Maybe not so appropriate for the channel, but you know, it is what it is. Maritza says, hi, Jen. Greetings from Canada. I just saw your what's up and makeup and sadly the wash and dry matte collection already has bad reviews. No. Oh, I'm so sad. Don't tell me that. Oh, I'll have to see if there's anything good that I can get from that collection because I really do want to get some more MAC products. But, oh, already bad reviews, huh? And her, your, your husband and you like the Baltimore. I'm glad you like the Baltimore video. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Bugsy's talking to Bradley. Sunfish out of water is talking to Sherry. Samantha says, can't wait to see the IMAX haul. I know. I haven't filmed it yet. I know. I know, man. I haven't filmed it yet. It's not It's not going to be up for at least a week or two because I have a backup of videos that I still have to put up. And then I haven't filmed it yet. So I'll probably film it next weekend and it'll probably be up sometime that next week is what I'm hoping. That's my goal anyway. All right. So that's what I got to do because it's 11 15. I'm already 15 minutes over. I got to get dressed and ready to go look at houses. So thank you all so much for joining me and chat this morning. I really appreciate it. If I didn't get your question, I'm really, 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 really sorry. Um, and I got through as many as I could and come back next week because I have full intention of doing chat again next week and I'm excited about it and you guys are awesome and this is so much fun I look forward to it every single Sunday this is like the highlight of my Sunday I appreciate you all being here so much thank you for being here uh let me flip to here yeah oh there I am I get to see myself now because I'm not looking at myself the entire time so if I have like a booger in my nose or something like I don't even see it so if I ever have a booger in my nose you guys have to tell me so that I can like take care that because I can't see it so um, but yeah I thank you so much for watching um, and I appreciate your support so 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 much and hopefully we can uh, chat again next week and yeah have a very happy Sunday or if you are it's already nighttime where you are have a wonderful week and on Monday I guess or next day yeah, whatever. What am I trying to say? I don't even know. Girlfriend, I went to bed at three o'clock in the morning last night, three o'clock in the stinking morning. Then I woke up at four o'clock in the morning to upload the What's Up and Makeup video. So I'm saying some dumb stuff today. So I apologize. I apologize right now. <laughs> But anyway, all right, I'm leaving now. Have a great rest of your day or have a great day tomorrow if your day is already over and I will see you next week. Thanks again for watching. Bye.